Hello everyone, welcome back here is Van Amsen and in today's SQL tutorial, we are diving into user data validation, specifically focusing on find user with valid email. So this task frequently encountered in real world uh, scenarios where you want to filter out user based on certain condition. In this case, email validity. So let's break down our task. We have the user table containing user ID, name, and mail. So emails are uh, invalid, but only some and some are valid. So we need to write an SQL query to find user who have valid emails only. So an email is valid if it has a prefix and a domain where the prefix may contain letters, both upper and lower cases, digits, underscore, period, or dash. And the prefix must start with a letter and the domain should be at litcode.com. So let's start uh, our query and I explain the logic right away. So select all from user where and mail regex AC at leadcode.com. So yeah, uh, this is our regular expression and our strategy here is to use regular expression or regex for short. So regular expressions are powerful tool for matching patterns in strings. So uh, let's break it down. So uh, at start, we have a sign, so it signifies the start of the line. Then we have AZ, AZ in brackets, so it matches any upper or lower prefix uh, letter, ensuring the prefix starts with a letter only. Then we have in brackets AZ, AZ, 0, 9, uh, uh, underscore period, uh, dash, and uh, then, uh, yeah, star, star. So uh, it allows uh, any number, including zero or letter, digit, underscore, a period, or a dash, uh, be uh, represented in our uh, string multiple times. So, yeah. And uh, finally, at leadcode.com. So this matches exactly this uh, domain. And finally, dollar sign signifies the end of the line. Uh, and the combination of this all uh, ensures that we match only the emails that uh, were uh, given in following desired uh, format. So let's run our query to see if it's working. So hopefully it will work. So yeah, it's working. And as you can see, we have only valid emails. So for example, this was not valid email. And yeah, so for example, this is also not valid email because uh, no prefix is uh, appended. So at leadcode.com. Uh, yeah, and also Gmail is not accepted because we are interested only in leadcode.com email. So let's run it for unseen test cases and see if it's working as well. So here we might encounter more tricky cases, but hopefully it will work. So yeah, it's working. We beat 36% of runtime, so everything's good. And there you have it. We have now filter out user who have valid email uh, as per the condition. And I hope you found this lesson useful. If you have any question or challenges you would like us to tackle next time, don't forget to drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SQL and coding tutorials and keep learning, keep practicing. Happy coding and see you next time.